on the computer because then I can see all the comments scrolling. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's creating a live broadcast. But uh, yeah, man, huge, huge fan. It is funny when I when I see guys they talk about your box and I'm like, they're like, you could build it yourself. I'm like, yeah, but dude, your your bare minimum gonna be at like four 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 hundred four fifty because that valve is no joke. That's not the it's not the base model valve that everybody's buying for like thirty bucks. You know, it's yeah. like you can do that, but like anything, you're buying a product that's tried and true. And yeah. uh, you know, I never say don't do it yourself because I think everybody's seen. I love to figure out things for myself. Yeah. What's up, Bradley? So I've got a little box in my garage that I purely put together to see if I can make it work. I don't use it on my truck because it's yeah. it's a little dinky valve. Yeah. But I purely wanted to put it together just to see it. It's sitting on a shelf in my garage. That's it. <laughs> like, but, you know, it's like I know that it was going to fail, and I don't want it to fail when, at the worst possible time. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And that's kind of how the shirts box came to be. Um, uh, and I, I, you're running the show, so just tell me when. No, no, tell me. Yeah, about. this is, dude. There's no show. It's just us talking. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, basically, um, a number of years ago, uh, I, I don't know if you're familiar with the PWRA. Um, well, I'm Texas was, pressure washing. What's that? On the PWRA, I'm Texas pressure washing. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. So I was like finally talking to you. So oh, okay. right, I still okay. love with that. <laughs> okay. So you, you saw the whole thing come to Yeah, the whole thing unfold. You, you saw the whole thing unfold then. Okay, so that's great. So, yeah, so we I started building them, you know, a number of years ago. And uh, one of the guys on there, I built one, and, and it was a joke because everybody laughed. I've got the original box somewhere around here. You, you, did you say it was to Rick, right? I sent it to Rick, yeah. Yeah, it was Rick, yeah. He, he called me, and he's like, man, I could put a trolling motor on this thing and go bass fishing. It's huge. And he's I like, remember the box. A smaller box, you know, put it in a smaller box. And I was like, all right. So I literally crammed, you know, that valve into the smallest yeah. possible thing that I could. And uh, I sent it back to him. And it was strictly for him to demo. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, and uh, he called me. And he goes, you ain't getting it back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and he is still running that original one. He is the OG of the OGs. Still running Rick, that Rick is the OG period. He is a straight yeah. up OG. Yeah. So uh so that but that's basically how it started is I was on the PWRA and I didn't have any intention of building one. I was asking for info info and insight on who made the best one and that I will never talk bad about anyone else's box. I never do that. Um it's a big rule of mine. Um I, I won't mention names, at least if I do. Um there was basically two options at the time uh when I when I designed mine, um, one of them was similarly priced to what I sell now. Um, and then the other one, um, was like 12 or 1300. Um, it was very, very expensive unit. Um, very, very reputable company. They sell a lot of chemical and really nice stuff. Um, you can probably guess who it is, but yeah, their boxes are awesome. Um, they do, theirs have like dual interfacing where when you click a button on the remote, it'll tell you if the, you know, receiver yeah. picked it up and it sends a signal back to get that kind of interfacing. You got to spend some big money. Absolutely. Um, and I tried going that route. I, we tried, uh, we tried getting in bed with Lodar, um, yeah. which is a, a really, really good company for remote control systems. And it was just not going to be feasible. Um, so basically I just tested out some units and I found what worked, you know, really well for the money and, um, the, you know, it's definitely not the, uh, the high, high dollar remote, you know, out on the market, uh, you know, God's honest truth, these remotes, they cost me like 40 bucks, you know, and I buy direct from the manufacturer, yeah, but um, they work. So, yeah. Yeah. They work. Um, and they have, they have a good warranty. I offer a good warranty with them. My warranty that I receive on them is only like three months. I offer a six month warranty on all the computers. Um, so if you have anything go wrong with it, you send it back to me. Now the the remote's not warranted because obviously people drop them in water and stuff like that, or yeah. you know water in their pocket and stuff like that. But the remotes are cheap; they're throwaway remotes. But so um, real quick, yeah. it's funny talking about the PWA firefighter for hires on here. Tony's on here watching. Oh, okay, yep, he's got, and, he's got uh, a couple of my units. He's been in yeah. some of them too. Yeah, and then let's see, let's see, Zach, my boy Zach Hall up in here, and I got Gary from. Uh, Top Gun Power Washing. Gary's a local guy. He's a uh, really good dude. Does a lot. I would say one of the only guys I know that is like really big into sealing around here. Mm -hmm. There's just 
a lot of washers, but I don't know anybody that's like broadcasting that they seal. So mm -hmm. um, anytime I get a quote for sealing, I'm like, hey, Gary. <laughs> yeah. Um, who else we got? Antonio, these boxes are all about, you've seen some people buying them and you're interested. So this box is that remote control that Chris was showing you was literally the, you could be on the side of the house or the back of the house and you can push a button and turn your soap off. And then you can go to rinse. Now you got to flush the soap out of the line, but instead of walking back to your trailer or your truck or whatever you've got, you push a button and you go from soap to rinse and you can also turn the soap back on. So when you're a one-man show or even a two-man show and you're busy and you're doing different things, it's a gigantic time saver. Anytime, Gary. You do quality work, my friend. Uh, what's up, Brandon? We got Jeremy on here. Yeah, we, I, I see the numbers bump up. Like Everybody's like, oh, oh, it's that day. It's that day they get the alerts because they signed up for the event. Yeah. See, this would be a game changer for your business. Absolutely. Uh, these are big time. Like this is the shirts box has saved me so many steps and so much time, which means one extra house wash a day. Do the math. So yep. literally, literally this will put anywhere from three to a thousand dollars in your pocket per day. Done. It's done. Yep. Yep. And every small business owner should know that when it comes time at the end of the year, you better invest some of the profits in your company. <laughs> If you did a whole season, you ought to have enough money to buy a shirts box. If you did a whole season, like you can do one day of one day of work pays for the unit, and then after yeah. that, I mean, you're you're golden. So absolutely, and uh, it's a big deal. And I, I remember, like, look, even for me, like I started out with that that huge service body build. It was crazy. We went completely over the top, out of the gate, and the whole time on the budget we had two shirts boxes at the very end i was like okay we just gotta make some money because we're just bleeding money <laughs> like, and i and so it's like i get it like you one but once you make that money like you said it's like you know when you start out you're just like oh my gosh i need work i gotta build my brand i get it like i did the same thing yeah. you know and now i had a buddy come over for something and i was like uh changing a hose on the truck at a hose burst and um he was like what do you and I, I was pulling off, and I said, hey, let's take off that DN10 and that Mossmatic. And the Mossmatic just did not want to come off the hose. And I was like, dude, just cut it. Throw the hose away. He goes, okay. And then I was so disgusted with like, the whole thing. I was like, do you want that DN10 and that Mossmatic? Because you just helped me. And he's like, he looks at him. He goes, these are, like, fine. I was like, yeah, I don't care. And he's like, Yeah. <laughs> And I'm like, but that's where you get to once you're busy and you're making money. You're just like, I don't care. But yeah, I just want new ones. Like, it just you, you know, you're not wasting money, but like reusing stuff that's been like exposed to SH. You're like, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So for the downstream system, yeah, you always yes, Antonio, exactly that. No more running back to the truck. Um, and you're a one man team. It's perfect. So if you're in a big home and you're at the very max reach of your 200 foot hose. Or whatever you're running, you don't have to go back to the truck. It's massive improvement. Will it work on an AR60 roof pump? So, I y'all can be kind of the people that that hear about this. Um, you you all, everyone probably knows there's somebody out there making something for the the, the gas roof pumps. Um, anyway, they uh, that design has been sitting here in my shop for probably two years. Um, we've been working, so you're gonna send we've, been, it? we've been working on it, and, but th that's the problem. So, so basically it's been sitting here um, ready to go. It's a lot smaller than the other guys. It's gonna be mounted on diamond plate. Um, it's a much smaller box. The computer basically gets mounted in a little box inside and then the valve gets mounted on the diamond plate. Um, it's a lot smaller footprint. It's pretty much going to have the same price point as the current shirts box. Um, I, the cost of the diamond plate, everybody knows steel, wood, and everything's outrageous right now. The cost of the diamond plate may drive it up thirty or forty dollars. Um, and then that's the market, using, though. Yeah, actually using a good quality bracket that's made by the manufacturer instead of just bending some sheet metal and and making fabbing up a bracket. I'm actually buying the the prefab stuff. Um, we've been wanting to launch it for 
a year now. Um, basically, ever since I went wholesale, um, ever since we started, you know, we, we're carried by tons of vendors now. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. All over. And, uh, and pretty much ever since then, we've, we've wanted to, uh, to unleash this bad boy. But right about the time where things started to be right for it, COVID hit. And it was like, okay, sales kind of dipped for like, I don't know, two months. But it was also that time of the year where everybody's just really starting to get their list together of things they want, their, yeah. their Christmas list, if you will. And then all of a sudden the floodgates opened. And I woke up to 90 orders from in combination of our website, our wholesalers and vendors, we had 90 orders in, in like a 24 hour period. And I was like, okay, so it's going to be one of those seasons. And we ended up, by the time I got those 90 built, um, we ended up having like 104 go out the shop in one day. My UPS guy backed up to the shop and he goes, uh, uh, now he's like, no, there's no way. He's like, this is a two, this is a two dayer. So, uh, so two trucks. It, it's one really day, two cool. trucks. Yeah, yeah. So he just came by the next day and picked up the rest of them. So my UPS guy, his name's Dusty. He gets tipped in ammo and everything. He's pretty cool. Gary, but... these are five ninety nine on all of the websites. Yeah, yeah. There's a couple of them. They're a little bit more or less. Um, I actually was scrolling eBay the other day and randomly came across one of my boxes that's brand new. <laughs> so, like it's it's really weird now that like you know because I'm very humble about this whole process. But it's really weird now that I'll just be scrolling Facebook and like somebody will be like posting pictures of their rig. And I'm like, oh, there's my unit. You know, it's so yeah. it's really cool. So and I, I get the biggest kick out of it. And I get a kick out of I don't whenever I see threads about them, I don't put my knowledge in or I don't put my two cents in and try to sell it. I let everybody else do that because I think that's the way a good product should be sold is let the people talk about it and have an honest, open conversation. Yeah, it either works or it doesn't. But yeah, yeah, you know. And I know that, like, especially because when, when I was looking at this right before we built the truck, I reached out to Rick and I reached out to William Page and I said, hey, how are you? How are you liking it? You know, and Rick was like, I love it. He's like, you know, I had X issue and, and Chris took care of it. And then uh, William said the same thing. You know, he was like, I'm having an X issue. And this is a prototype time frame. And he's like, I'm having an X issue. And um, that was when right when COVID hit and you were having parts struggles. Mm -hmm. But then he, he followed up with me. He's like, Hey, it's all resolved. It was all, it was all waiting on parts. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I remember talking to you when I was looking at order them and you're like, Oh man, I'm a 90 day backlog right now or something crazy. So, and it was pure parts. Yeah, no. So it's, it's crazy that um, I, I joke about the ship over in, in what was it? Egypt screwing yeah. things up. <laughs> I joke about that screwing things up again because things got better there and we were like down to like a 15 day window and then boom it's like I started going on my websites where I buy all my parts and it was just like out of stock out of stock out of stock these cases um the, the cases that I buy um I buy them you know two three hundred at a time now and uh, I went on there to, to order them uh oh, five weeks ago and it said back ordered uh, for seven weeks and I was like oh, no uh, yeah I'm like that's bad that's bad bad I've never had a problem getting these cases in, in the entire time that's been the one thing I could get here and the strobe lights um, that was never a problem and I'm like the cases I can't get the cases because you know you get you get complacent on uh, knowing which things you can get all the time because they're always in stock well then all of a sudden those bumped up to seven week lead time and then I checked back three days later and it said four weeks so they should be hitting my door. Those should be hitting my door for this order that we have of uh, 50 units um, here in the next couple of days. And then the valves uh, that we have on order for everybody that has, if anyone's watching that has an order out right now, um, uh, the valve should be in here in about another eight days, I think. Um, we're, I, I, I knock on my vendors every other day um, if they're behind on stuff. Uh, because I don't like, you know, having to wait on stuff. And I know you guys don't like having to wait on stuff. So um, I, I do my best to, uh, to knock on everybody's door. And that's the funny thing about when you start getting really big, um, as big as you get, some of the, the people I buy from, they don't care how big I am. I'm little compared to a lot of the people that buy from them. So it's like the bigger you get, the bigger problems you have. Because instead of ordering five units and they can fill an order of five, when you call and you say, hey, I need 70 of something that's, you know, a $200 part, they're like, eh, five weeks. You know, they're just like, 
you know, they would almost you, you clean them out. Yeah, yeah, they would almost rather fill an order of five than fill an order of fifty, even though I buy a majority from them. So, if you so, have a, a unit on order, it's it's going to be coming here shortly. I promise. So Gary was asking, it would work on an AR sixty. I think you saying that that one's not out yet, right? That one's not out yet. We have a unit. Basically, it's the. Let me grab a valve here. And um, then I, I'm getting your guys' questions. The range. Um, I know the range is good. Quarter mile. There you go, quarter mile range. Quarter mile. Open open cornfield, quarter mile, I'll tell you that much. I'm, um, I'm promising you you're not drawing any soap at a quarter mile of hose. <laughs> yeah, right. You uh you won't you won't have a problem with it. We've got videos out there of guys that are inside brick buildings, inside of a brick room inside of a brick building and it still works. Um basically um the 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 shirts box for downstreaming it's this valve um and it is a three quarter inch full port valve uh and what it what it has is it has um fittings on it that reduce it down three quarter inch to quarter inch hose barb um and so you're getting a three quarter inch valve um with the current downstream unit it's just plumbed down to quarter inch to accommodate the lines so the full uh, AR pumps, you know, you need a lot of flow. So we're leaving, basically we're leaving the valve exposed like this with labels on where you put everything. Uh, that way uh, you have a full flow yeah. and you can run that way. We have, we have a, a shirts box that is uh, um, half inch for that's, that we sell right now that is uh, used for, uh, air diaphragm pumps or 12 volt pumps and it works phenomenal awesome but i would not i would not recommend trying to plumb that up to an ar pump yeah so real quick we got I, I, there's a bunch of guys in here justin uh so there what's up uh, adam's in here adam fisher uh you got jeff Pittman. um your shooter tip fourth hits a quarter mile that's impressive uh chad johnson we got service therapy they got the pwra coming to support chris yeah, there you go, yeah. so chad is saying are you going to have a booth at the huge convention at the what division? The huge convention, the Atlanta conference. So I, I, I'm not sure when that is. I've thought about it. Um, August 18th is the meet and greet, and then the 19th and 20th is the convention in August you know, in Atlanta. I, I may have to I may have to get on that. See, I, I haven't followed it a whole lot. We've got a lot of moving parts to our business. Um, I don't – I haven't – Your empire? That. What's that? Your empire? It's something, man. I wouldn't call it that. <laughs> Yeah. No, so the best part is I know you're so busy, but like you always tell these good stories. Like I remember the the NPR is it was the NPR, right? The yeah, the Azuzu. God, I, that thread is like one of my favorite on the PWA. That like, yeah. and there's guys that were like, "Wait, the truck's dead!" I was so invested by the time. It's done. Yeah, it's done. It's sitting <laughs> a block away. I was the With same the way. Like, I'm reading this thread. I'm like, he's done so much crazy stuff to this truck. And then the truck died, and everybody was just like, this is the worst ending ever. <laughs> yeah. I got so mad. I got so mad that day. I just, like, literally, I, and, you know, you talk about reinvesting in yourself. I had spent so much money on this dang truck. And it just, it, the final strike, like, I woke up. I went to go wash somebody's house. I walk out in the driveway. The thing starts. And it revved the motor up, and then it revved the motor down. And I thought, that was weird. So I shut it off, and then I went to start it again, and nothing. Like, just done. cranks and cranks and cranks, done. And I got so mad. I called the people that I was supposed to house wash for. And I was like, hey, I'm having a truck issue. I'm, you know, I'm, I can't make it today. I walked in. I got on car gurus, and I'm just looking. And, like, done. boom, like, the 2020 beast yeah. popped up. And done. it was done. And, like, I, you know, just, you know, spent the money and finally bought a brand-new truck. So, Hey, like you said, invest in yourself. Yeah, the, yeah. so the huge convention, um, I, I interviewed uh, Sid Graff, who bought the huge convention with a group of guys from Chris and Thad. And um, so it's no longer, a, you know, owned by Chris and Thad, but and this is the first year. But it's interesting how they brought Sid into this like five years ago. And then I think three years ago, they asked him to MC. And uh, he ended up liking the event so much. We interviewed him um, and ended up giving away seven free tickets to the event, which is okay. pretty cool. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, so we got, and there'll be a ton of guys there. And I'm, I'm going, my whole company's going. And, it, and it's awesome. I think, you know, the networking is the cool part of the conferences. 
Yeah. So if you're there, I look forward to seeing you. I know Chad is going, and um, Tony was talking about making it. He's got a barbecue competition, but um, it's it's Thursday and Friday is basically the event. But, yeah. Uh, it'd be really cool to see you there, and I know your your booth would have a ton of people wanting to, A, talk to you about how much they love the shirts box, and B, <laughs> all the people are like, what is everybody standing over here for? Yeah. No, I thought it would actually be kind of cool to, like, I didn't know how big the place was, but I thought, like, tape one of the remotes to like a banister like way away that way people yeah. can go push the button a long way away and see like oh it, it, it should be big enough that it's cool but what you do is you go like you put one in another room in the conference center mm-hmm. yeah push and the, the sign that says activate the shirts box <laughs> yeah that'd be funny yeah I know that's no, a cool I'm idea commit to it right now with all the moving parts we have going on um as you know the waltons keep us pretty busy um hey. How many so, stores are you guys handling right now? I don't, I don't remember. Six, we do 16 stores. 16? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Man. Yeah. So all the trees, mulch, mowing. We do snow removal, all that good stuff. So, yeah. It's, Dude, that's uh, awesome. A lot of moving parts. Yeah. No. I uh, I was actually getting my bum chewed before this interview. So. And are you done there. with the, the university? I can't, I can't remember. No. I was let go at the university. Um, they had a big... Uh, um layoff uh, i was one of about 200 so uh, Oof, no more safety chris yeah no more safety chris so no more safety officer so but it's all for the better i mean you know weeks after getting let go there i was offered the opportunity to do all those walmarts and uh um and then shortly after we accepted those um i got a call from the you know the world's largest pressure wash wholesale company and you know, and then things took off from there. And, and there's no way I could have been at the university and, and you know, taking care of the shirts box stuff and, you know, and, Walmart stuff. So. Yeah, absolutely. The Judd, Judd West is in here. I like the shirts box. It's very well built. Yeah, there's, I, you know, people ask me all the time about both of the, the Flow Pro and the shirts box. And mm-hmm. I'm like, look, I, I'm, you know, I, I'm only, this is, I hit the first week of June, June 8th, it's eight months washing for me. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm not a veteran washer, but I'm very big into research. I mean, you know, like I dug through the PBA for over 12 months before I did anything. Um, yeah. Like I'm, I understand this stuff and like, I understand the flow pro and I understand the shirts box and I understand the other boxes out there. And like, I tell people, I'm like, look, they they do they do the, they do the same thing by doing different things, yeah. but those are the two products I recommend. You're not gonna go wrong. I just tell people that I'm like, look, don't ask me about anything else. I'm just gonna tell you not to buy it. That's my personal opinion. Yeah. Not, you know, like I, I'm not gonna like I said, I'm never gonna trash talk anything. I'm just gonna tell you like, what would I spend my money on? Those are the two things. Like, yeah, that's yeah. They, yeah. No, they do just, they do different things, but they both yeah. will cut off soap, and they're made with quality, and they're made by guys that are not gonna be like, you know popping smoke or my website's down or my Facebook page is, you know, I got locked out. I'm just like, not about it. Yeah. Uh, so the wife said we definitely need one. Hack the other day. So we're dealing with the PayPal hack right now. Oh, dude, so. that's, that's the worst. Yeah. You'd think they'd reach a certain point where they'll go like mandatory, you know, two party or, you know, two, the two party two thing. factor authentication. The two factor, like mandatory. I have that. Yeah, I've got. Yeah, I've got the face ID and all that yeah. stuff. And, and yeah, and they still got I, it. Yeah, I somehow my stuff was compromised. Basically, um, the only way I was able to track anyone who purchased anything from our website was by going in the back end and revisiting like inquiries. Uh, so luckily I got, you know, other information and it slowed, it slowed me, my ordering process up maybe a day or two. Uh, but the real problem is, is basically all the money from orders that have happened during the hack is on hold for like 30 days. So Until I figured it out. Like, it was like four units. It's, it's not, it's like no, nothing like what happened when Square did their dirty trick. But um, yeah, no, it's, there's a, there's a little drama with PayPal. So, but I, I've got it worked out. They've got it secured. And every time I Square think, sends what, me money, I'm like, Whew. I think what happened was I have the PayPal debit card that is linked to my PayPal account. And I think that's what got it. I don't think it was my, oh yeah. Account. Um, yeah. Like, a they did a mag reader on it or something. Yeah. Yeah. No, so they can like, do that. 
like remotely. Yeah, it was almost instantly. Like I activated the card and then it was like four days later. I had used it because if you get a PayPal debit card that works with your account. Uh, it's just right the there. First, for the first 30 days, they give you 10% cash back. And I laughed. I was like, oh, and like y'all are going to regret this because I'm going to order all the shirts box stuff through PayPal. And like, and then so like after like three or four days, it was like I did something and something went wrong and it was like, nope, your card's been suspended. So, oh. but I've got, I've already got the new one. So it's, it's no big deal. It's, it's, it's cool now, but yep. So let's see who on here is watching right now. We've got 22 people. Who on here needs a shirts box? I always want, you know, like, cause you know, you know there's, I see the comments and what's up Frankie, April. Uh, welcome to the group, April, and welcome to the live stream. We're happy to have you. Angela's, I'm the runner. This would cut out lots of running. Well, we don't want to cut down on cardio, but we do encourage you to work smarter. <laughs> I hate cardio. Uh, say, cardio is, the, you only got so many beats of your heart. Why waste them? Mm. Yeah, you know. Michael Walden needs one. Mike does. Adam Fisher, Antonio Curry, Ben Wirt, April Doyle. Let's see. Jorge. Stephen Cantu, what's up, bro? Zach Oliver, we got Adam Bush. Everyone needs one. Yeah, not me. Let <laughs> Joe Maddox. All right, Joe's out. Chad, you don't have a box? Hold up. Seriously? Yeah, no, for real. Yeah, Mr. Like, Jack Walker. Yeah, dude. We, you're pulling like you're probably pulling six fingers on two jobs, Chad. <laughs> you should have a two boxes. Right, just for the show, just for the strobe lights. Yeah, we're making our setup tomorrow. Charlie needs one, and and Anatolio need one. We got EJ. Let's see. Keep going. Where did my buddy Zach Hall go? I haven't seen Zach on a live in a while. Did he bounce? Did he have to go? He was on here from the jump. Zach is 17 and washing in Tampa. So oh, nice. I met him. I went to Tampa on vacation, and uh, – for my birthday in March and Zach and his mom came out and they washed the sidewalk in the patio of my friend's condo. And it was really cool meeting him. Uh, kid does quality work. He's insured out of the gate. He did it right. Like, you know, he was 16 at 16, figured out insurance. Not, not one of those kids that popped up and was like, Oh, I'm just washing. And how do I do this? He was just like, Hey guys, I'm 16. And I think somebody jumped him right away. Like, Oh, do you have insurance? He's like, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, I always, always, uh, you know, he's busy working. He's posting house washes. He's crushing. He's doing online schooling and, uh, gets all his classes done and still washes. He's crushing it. Um, so we got small potato building up. You need one, bro. You do not currently, uh, sounds like Chad needs to order one. They're coming. Hot shot does. Let's see. We got Brian Sanders needs one. Uh, just getting started. Uh, it's uh, you get it. Angela Nicole says I get enough cardio. Cardio. Uh, Angela, have you won something on one of the lives? I feel like you have. Not trying to single you out. Let's see. You need a free one. <laughs> Tony's like, I need a free one. <laughs> like, I can't, Tony's, I can't Tony's eight weeks out, or like, or maybe longer. I think he's like 16 weeks out or something on skid builds. The dude is printing money. I need a free one. Like, you know what? Everybody wants free one. Yeah. Let's see. Angela has won something. All right. Well, this is the, this is the coolest part is – April Doyle, brand new to washing, brand new to the group. Let's go ahead and select you as the winner of the shirts box. And my only request is that, as you heard, if you were here at the beginning, it's going to be about 30 days for you to get yours because there's a back order part. When you do get the shirts box, um, do me a favor and post it on the page once you get it installed and tag me in it. And then I'll tag Chris. So we can see it. That'd be really cool. Yeah. Yep. So I'll need so, to get her information, her shipping information, and everything. And yep. 
April, just uh, you can message me um, after this. I'll make sure and shoot you a message, and then I'll pass it to you, Chris. Um, keep it easy. And uh, I really appreciate you coming on here. How's the nursery doing? I know that you posted um, pictures. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's busy. It's crazy. Like my okay, so we haven't had hardly any house plants there yet because we grow the house plants in the the offsite nursery at our here at our house. And my wife asked me to pull the enclosed trailer home uh, yesterday. It's a 28 foot enclosed trailer, and uh, she's like, I need a load of house plants. And she packed that thing full, and she got it to the nursery, and she took a picture and posted it on on the Facebook page for the the nursery. And within 10 minutes, there were people there like crazy eyed plant people like <laughs> ready to mob it like zombies my, they're just like running into my enclosed trailer and grabbing snake plants and like all this stuff like just like taking it out not even knowing what the price was because not like black friday price. sale like just they, didn't care they, plant people do not care so this is my plant eat. we've got a gate at the nursery it's been ran over three times i saw that post <laughs> blows my mind blows my mind people pull, start pulling into the driveway and they see all the flowers and everything they just keep driving through the gate it's just it's nuts yeah it's it's been a big blessing we've been working really hard on it for the last couple of years and uh um it, it's it's a big blessing and my wife you know she works her butt off with it um so it's it's fun for her so that's exciting man i i i i still go to the forum every day but i'm 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 way past the point of struggling to read every post. And that's what I did literally until this year, probably March, maybe February. I read every single post that was made on the PWA for yeah. probably the last 16 months, 18 months. But whew, now, like, I'm slammed 18-hour days. We're building the second rig already. We're not – we're, like I said, eight months washing, already building the second rig. Like, I'm – beyond just I, like, haven't, <laughs> I haven't watched a single house this year <laughs> and it's good hey you don't yeah. need to you like said empire you got yeah. the nursery you yeah. you got the lawn care business you do snow removal like yeah. at this point if you're gonna wash it have to be like somebody doing it for you well we do we do commercial pressure washing uh so usually once a year we do some high v's um and stuff like that um, but, uh, this year I just, I've, I've probably passed up and I, I, do you know, Marine Grunt? Yeah. I talk to Brian all the time. Look, Hot Shop's on here. We got Weird Beard yeah. on here. I, uh, I send, I send him all, cause I used to wash over in his neck of the woods. Yeah. And now pr pretty much anybody that calls me from his neck of the woods, I'm just like, call this guy. And then I'll text him and be like, Hey, I gave your number to so-and-so. They're a good customer of mine. And I actually did that today. So. That's uh, awesome. Yeah, I try to give all that work away. But all my local stuff, I've been telling people I'm going to start washing in like July. Uh, nice. So I'm I'm going to build a new rig and. Uh, oh, I can't wait to see this. Uh, it's just going to be a plain Jane tank, pressure washer, and a soap tank. It's nothing hey, fancy. Dude, it doesn't matter what it is. Nothing fancy. So I'm going to get a hot. I'm finally going to break down and buy a hot water unit, though. I've never had my own hot water unit. Um, oh. I'm probably, probably going to buy a Farley hot box or something. Um, I don't know. I'm going to talk to a couple of my dealers that I buy that that sell my units and see um, what they so, think. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk with them first because you know I want to support the people who support me and lift me up. Um, so I've got a couple really good dealers that I'm going to give a call and be like, hey, you know, I I kind of like the Farley hot box. Would you recommend it? Should I just buy a an eight gallon a minute unit from you and then add that, or do you want to sell me a skid? Um, but the big problem is, is I live in the middle of nowhere. Like it's yeah, like delivery. Chadwick. Yeah, so it's well, it's not even the delivery. It's it's getting work, getting it worked on. You know, there's no, you know, unless I buy a Landa, there's no pressure wash companies around me that service stuff like that. So, and uh, and I don't have the pockets for Landa. Sorry, Landa. No. Yeah, I don't blame you. What I'm looking Puerto Rican. Well, I'll take that as a compliment, Jenny. <laughs> it's called working outside. I'm blessed with some Indian heritage. I'm very very quickly in my family tree, you get full-blooded Indian on my mom's side. So that's why, probably why I had tan versus burn. What did you for? I've been peeling. Uh, yeah? You can see my Well, you're not on. watching. Where are you getting all that sun from? Sitting on a mower with the Walton's family. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's a lot of, that's a lot of, that's probably more exposure to sun. 
Yeah, yeah, I'd, uh, it's it's been pretty bad, and and also, I mean, being at the greenhouse, you know, yeah, it's a lot of sun. So, <laughs> look, April, if you decide you need to exercise, PM me, I'll buy it. And then Adam Fisher was like, I identify as April. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no and i i hate to support everybody normally normally i'll try and get the crew together and we'll buy another product and give it away but i have bought i've chipped in on every giveaway we've done for like the last four or five so it's like okay i've got to stop <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, there's a, like it's 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 next year when we're at three trucks and I'm like every giveaway, but, uh, I've, uh, I got an idea for something that I want to talk to you about. Um, I'll, t- I'll send you a message later, but, uh, it popped in my head like today while I was, uh, hammered down. I had <laughs> run around with a crew of five today and training, uh, losing an intern. I do the DOD skill bridge program and, uh, my Marine, oh my gosh, the kid's the Terminator. I love him so much. He asked me, he's like, would you hire me? I'm like, oh, yeah, I would hire you today. But he's starting his own company. So it's obviously, yeah. he's like, I know I'm going to make more money. He's like, I'm just curious. Like, what do you think of me? I'm like, I love you. You're you're like family. Like, I'll do anything for you. And uh, he's uh, getting started real soon. And um, kids are all, just soaked it up like sponge. But he's leaving on Tuesday. And then today, so I had a week overlap. I had an Air Force intern show up. And uh, she started today. So we were training her, and I'm training a new sales girl. Like, the, you know, she's going to generate her own sales. So we're, we were, it was a full tilt circus today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, I, had a call, I had a call in today. So we kind of pivoted. We were supposed to go down and uh, cut down a bunch of trees today in Springfield, Illinois. And uh, um, so instead of doing that, I ended up working on the dump trailer. And uh, so. Yeah, My uh, best friend is from Springfield. I've been there twice, three times. Have you? Yeah. yeah. I uh, I was there, when did we go through? 2018? I think in 2018, yeah. we were in Springfield, and then we went up to Grand Rapids to see another buddy. I was uh, the best man at home in his wife's wedding, and I hadn't met any of their kids, so we got to go up there and see them. But uh, every once in a blue moon, I'm up that way. Yeah. Well, you drove within probably 45 minutes of me. Right through there between yeah. the two. So, yeah. Yeah, dude. I really appreciate you hopping on here. And like I said, I'll get you April's contact info. And yeah. I look forward to seeing the new build, even if it's not flashy. Um, you know, because you learn how to be efficient. I mean, I've learned that I love the service body, but I'm not positive that I'm going to do another one. I have learned that's, from experience that as big of a pain in the butt as it is pulling a trailer, when you go to build a, a Zuzu NPR and all your equipment's stuck to a truck, no matter what goes wrong with it, your day is done. If oh, yeah. mounted to oh, a yeah. trailer, you can hook onto it with something else and tug it down the road. And that's that's my I answer. think that what our plan is is like so we love this service body. We're pretty we're pretty rigid with the maintenance on it. All of our, we, we had it looked at by three mechanics. They're all stunned. I kind of, we kind of got the diamond in the rough. I think that we're just left out. Yeah. Um, and we even got a local shop that basically pulled me aside and was like, the next time you have anything wrong with this truck, if we have to drop the transmission for anything, he's like, let's just bulletproof it. He's like, these, these are the items to bulletproof this year, model GNC. Yeah. He's like, basically they went cheap on X, X, Y, Z plastic. And he's like, if we're dropping this, let's just bulletproof it. It's like under a grand. And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. So fingers crossed we have anything. But I think our plan is like we're obviously literally my garage is full of equipment for a second truck waiting on the truck. Um, Is We're going to build a little like five by eight trailer. And it's it's the, you know, the little the bumblebee. It's time to roll. <laughs> it's time to roll out. You know, like okay, the, the the truck's down and the other truck's busy, so you can you can pull yeah. like the five by eight with an SUV or something or yeah. like whatever. Yeah, yeah. So. I'll sell you mine. You can come up and get it. Huh? Yeah, like I'm gonna put a trailer hitch on the Mercedes so I can pull the a five by eight. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, no water in the trailer. But uh, Charlie, man, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate everybody, and I know that like. So for those of you that were on the PWA, you know who Chris is because, you know, he was really active for a long time. It's really cool that you got to be on here, you know, because, like, your product just sells itself. You're not hyping it up. You're not 
doing anything about it. But I really like that you're in your workshop and you were like showing us bowels and things like that. It was really yeah. cool for the guys to understand and the girls to see, you know, what what this is. You know, it's a box. I should have started with this. It's a box that just basically you run your chemical through the box and then it runs to your downstream injector. And you also make different boxes where you can switch it to rinse and you can rinse your downstream injector like that. So we no longer sell the oh, it's one. done? The one that just stops the flow of chemical, we no longer sell because we were offering that in the beginning, but only maybe five or 10 people out of a hundred would buy it. And those yeah. five or 10 people would call me and they'd be like, hey, how do I upgrade this thing to the one that rinses the injector? You know, almost all of them. So I was like, nope, it's done. So now we just have the three way. So you run one line to your buffer tank and that's gonna draw water, one line to your soap mix tank and then one of the three lines goes to your downstream injector. So every time you hit the B button and you turn the system off, you send rinse water to your downstream injector so it rinses it out. Most Perfect. of the time on general pump hydros, I, I mean, I last a whole season on one, you know. So, uh, but yeah, and you don't lose, you don't lose flow because on the other system, on the one that just cut the flow of soap, you'd hit the B button, you'd turn it off and you'd feel the gun die down just a touch because you were losing just a touch of flow. <clears throat> So Tom, all biases aside, if you could choose between a cargo van or a truck, what would be the best setup? Truck. I've never used a cargo van, and I'm gonna be honest with you that biases exist. Truck. <laughs> like, yeah, I couldn't drive around smelling all those fumes all day. I couldn't do it. Yeah, if, even if it was sealed, I feel like I wouldn't want to. Yeah. And I looked at I looked at some of the big Dodge vans and just out of curiosity. Uh, but, uh, Hey, so Chris, I wanted to ask you, um, can I put this interview on YouTube and share it on the PWRA? Cause it's, I yeah. just thought it was really cool. Like yeah, I, absolutely. I'd love to download it. Cause I know I can't upload the video to the PWRA. I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't have hardly anything on my YouTube, but that's I was like, how can I do this? Cause it's like so many of those guys watched you do this and never have got a chance to interact with you. Cause like, I've watched this whole progression. So to me, this was like unbelievably cool personally, just to get to have a quick chat with you. And I thought it would be cool if I could upload it and the guys would be able to check it out. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. That'd be cool. Um, yeah. I'll go find the thread and, uh, re and, and bump it back up and, uh, I'll get the, I'll get the video posted. I'll, I'll try to do it tonight. I'm yeah. literally jumping straight into an interview with world's best graffiti remover. Perfect. Yeah, and uh, we'll so have Adam on here in about 15 minutes. So if you guys are watching and you have time and everybody's busy, uh, come back in about 15 minutes, and I'll be on here with Adam from World's Best Video Remover, and they're giving away a bunch of graph attack packs. And uh, that's really cool because, like, I've removed some graffiti, and uh, that was an interesting experience. So it was a semi-truck trailer driver owned his own rig, and a brand new trailer got tagged bad. It was like a white trailer with red tag. And oh, that man. dude, that dude was now like, I... he, he was distraught. That was like his livelihood. Yeah, and... yeah. Now, when I was at WIU, we had some uh, some people do some tagging uh, out at out the college, and they knew I was the pressure wash guy at <laughs> facilities, so they called me. They're like, "What would you do?" I'm like, "World's best graffiti remover, hands down. Order it online." Yeah. And yeah, and I'm like, go over there and put a covering over it because it was some foul language. I said, put a covering over it, and they did. A couple days later, they got the stuff. Yep, they were good to go. So, yep. No, yeah, it's, good it's stuff. just a process. Yep. Um, so, again, uh, I'll shoot you a message, Chris, about my idea. It's a in the future thing. Um, yeah. I got, I got a bunch of guys to ask about it. It's just a, one of those throw it out there. Um, but I uh, really appreciate your time. I know you're busy. He, he literally had to pick up his kids and run to the shop as soon as he got home. So yeah, I, threw, like, I threw him at the nursery with my wife and I said, take the kids. I got an interview. And she's like, what? yeah, <laughs> you're like, honey, I'm famous. <laughs> <laughs> she's so over. It's, it's funny. Cause uh, I, I took a service call the other day. Somebody had a problem with their box and they called me and they got, and I, I always put it on speakerphone and the guy called me and, and he's like, wait, is this the owner? And I said, yeah. And he goes, Oh God, I feel like I'm talking to somebody famous. <laughs> and my wife goes, Oh, please don't give him a big head. Like, 
it's it's funny it's it's but no it's it's as many as these things as i sell i've had a lot of people try to buy them out from me that want to make them yeah um if i can't build them myself um and i can't answer the phone and back them up myself and fix them i'll shut the whole thing down and nobody can have them because if i can't do it myself and and i want to stay that way um it's important so yeah no i i agree with you man i man i uh talk about the weirdest thing ever about you know like when people know who you are i was like a baby and had washed like you know i did a lot of washing out of the gate i got really lucky we got really busy but i'm still i you know i'm still like a super rookie and i wrote that you know my notes that i published um purely just because i was getting inundated with people wanting to pay me for them and it was just driving me crazy so i was like i'm just gonna publish it and that'll take some of the load off and I won't, everybody will feel like, oh, they're contributing. And uh, really they're just paying Amazon. But uh, I went to that conference in Kima and people were like coming up to me. They're like, hey, Heath, what's up? And I'm like, you, you just saw my name dads from that far away? And they're like, no, yeah. I, have, I, have, I read your guide. And I was like, oh, what? <laughs> and I was like, you and you know me from that and they're like yeah i'm like okay and it's the first time it happened i was like that's weird yeah. and my best friend was standing there and he's known me for 21 years and he's like he's got this big grin on his face and i'm like what what are you laughing at and he's like turn around and i'm like there's a line of people and like some of them already had the book and they wanted me to sign it i was like okay this is too weird like i i learned from that right there i'm not cut out to be famous <laughs> In any way, shape, fashion, or form, I, I really like talking to people. I'll talk to you all day long, but I don't. Yeah. It, that like when the crowd gets big, I I don't mind. I'm not like afraid of talking in public, but like I walked away from that realizing that like it purely the desire to help people is the only thing that keeps me in it. <laughs> you know that the, yeah. like being able to deal with it. It's like it was a really strange feeling of like. You know, growing up, you're like, how would I handle being famous? And, like, I walked away from that going, that was bizarre. And my friends were, like, yeah. super, like, soaking it up. They're like, you never, ever, ever get bothered by anything. And, like, that really made you uncomfortable. They were, like, yeah. soaking it up. <laughs> I've I've gotten, I've gotten used to it. I've never been to really any events, and I've only met um, – uh, I've only met one guy off the forum uh, so far. Uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's neat. And I, you know, like I said, it's very humbling. I, you know, I want to stay small and, you know, keep it manageable and everything like that, but it's really neat. It's, it's fun to, to have an impact on somebody, you know, in their business in a positive manner. That's, Absolutely. You know, we've got, you know, we've got a couple units in Canada. We've got, you know, all over. It's just, it's really neat to, to make a positive impact on people and then to see them, you know, years later, you know, call you back. Hey, I've got one of the original boxes and I, I just now had the first problem. And it's like, holy moly, like, you know, some, I'll get a box back for repair, you know, where the computer quit. And I'm like, I haven't used these lines in three years. Like, like, you know, it's, it's not. Nice. So when did the box, so we're, I do got to run real quick, but when was the first box like rolled out for sale? I, I would have to look at the forum to see. I think, I think it's, I think it was year, I think we're on year three, three or four. Okay. I don't remember. Yeah. Cause it's been a while. Been yeah. It's, it's been, it's been quite a bit. So. Cause I know that for sure you were selling them like full bore, bef you know, like in 19. Yes. Like for sure, because like I remember we had them on our list to buy. Yeah, yeah. I think I think 2018 is when the prototype started being built, and by like late 2018, people I think we were selling like 40 or 50 of them, you know. And now it's you know now we're selling, you know, 60 or 70 a month. Um, and Dude, that's eventually, awesome. I think we're gonna run out of pressure wash, folks, because I don't, I can't. It's it, I, it's hard to wrap my mind that there's that many pressure wash companies in the U.S. Like, but Dustin, we got Dustin on on here um, from the PWR. Yeah, man, I'm I'm looking forward to meeting PWR guys at the conference. Like, I really yeah. am, because like those dudes were were guys. Anybody on the PWR like contributed to the success of my business, straight up. 
Um, yeah. Like, everybody's like, oh, you did it right. I'm like, well, yeah, I went and I researched and I didn't have any conversations. I just read, you know, and just read and read and read and read and read. And now two things. One, I don't run into very many things that kick my ass on the job. And the things that I run into that would kick my ass, I'm smart enough to walk away from yeah, exactly. <laughs> before I accept yeah. the job. Like, that keeps you in business when you're starting out. Because, like, taking yeah. on something you can't handle will crush you. But I really do got to run, man. I, I, As you can tell, I'd sit here and BS with you all day. I hope that you can work out coming to the huge. I'd love to meet you. Like, it would be awesome. And I know you already got guys that are asking. I know Chad's going to be there, and there's other guys going to be there. But uh, all you guys will be back in about eight minutes for the next interview. And, um, again, Chris, I've got April's info. As soon as I get a minute tonight, I'll send it to you. And in a month, we'll hopefully see a picture of her rocking it. Perfect. Thanks again, brother. You have a good night. All right.